Alrighty, guys, so might even later tonight, um, might even go back and watch um, a little bit of Colorado versus North Dakota State. Frankly, you know, was watching a lot of Gophers and, you know, was watching a little NC State. But, you know, Shador Sanders did his thing. 450 yards passing, touchdowns. Defense seemed to be a problem. Um, but Pat Shermer and the offense, I was worried about Pat Shermer's play calling. Um, and the defense seemed to get more stout as the game got along for Colorado. North Dakota State, though, was able to hit some explosive plays. Uh, Nebraska's defense is not going to see a quarterback to the degree of Shador Sanders. They're not going to see a receiver like Travis Hunter. They're not going to see Jimmy Horn. Colorado has explosive playmakers. It's early in the year. I think they stayed relatively healthy this game. They're going to get 11 days to prepare for Lincoln, and they won tonight. And if you win ugly or you win however, you still beat a really good FCS program. Um, that game in Lincoln's going to be an absolute war coming up. And I guess Nebraska can feel better that um, – that Colorado's defense is susceptible. But I'm not sure that Nebraska's wide receivers, are they going to be up to the task? Like, we're going to see Lloyd. We're going to see uh, Banks, um, Fedoni. They're going to have to create ways through Satterfield and through um, the offensive staff. It's going to be up to the offensive staff to actually put a good game plan out there. And then if the defense shows up like it did in the first half of the first three quarters, Nebraska's probably going to win that game. So, feeling decently. Let's see Nebraska at UTEP. See if Nebraska can really put points on the board. If the offense is not, like, if the offense doesn't create those explosives and this thing gets close, Colorado's going to have the chance. But really, can Colorado protect against Tommy Robinson, against Nash Huttmacher, against James Williams, against um, against Jamari Butler, like against this Nebraska front seven? That's what the game's going to come down to. Um, is Nebraska and Nebraska's defense at home under the lights? That's I love that this game's prime time. What a ticket it's going to be in Lincoln! Like ABC got a great game, and. Um, uh, or NBC, and this game is going to be really, really interesting to watch. If Colorado comes in there is buttoned up and they put and they put some scores on Nebraska early, Nebraska is not going to want to come back. Nebraska is going to have to kick their ass this game. They're going to have to win up front. They're going to have to want the game more. All those cliches. They're going to be have to be out there for blood. And Tony White and the defense has to be pure. And if they are. If Tony White in the defense is that good, then Dylan Riola in the offense should do enough that Nebraska can win the game comfortably. If Pat Shermer, Shador Sanders, Jimmy Horn, and Travis Hunter go into Lincoln and actually score on Nebraska and it, the game turns into a shootout, that is a serious, serious problem. I don't see Dylan, I don't see really the offensive wide receivers and the coordinators being able to win a shootout with Nebraska right now. I don't. I don't love like Satterfield. I'm still very up in the air. Like at 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 South Carolina, it was very mixed, and you got a good quarterback, but the wide receivers are so unproven at Nebraska. I mean, you have Jalen Lloyd. I guess you have Banks. Nayers coming off of a um, coming off of so many injuries, he didn't play at Texas really at all after a really good freshman year at Wyoming, where he was phenomenal. And then Fedoni has been really injured. So, but with all that being said, North Dakota State, which offense isn't exactly the greatest show on turf, was able to still find ways against Colorado. So maybe Nebraska's offense will be okay. I'm expecting them to be pretty decent against Colorado. I don't think Colorado's defense, I'm probably going to see a lot of holes in the secondary there. But... Shador Sanders, man, if you get into a if you get into an absolute shootout with Shador, 
He's going to be more clutch than you, and he's going to make you pay, and they're going to end up winning a game at Nebraska. All the pressure is actually with is, is Nebraska. It's Nebraska's favored. This is supposed to be an unbelievable year. A lot of people pointed to them 6-1. and one. They got Dylan Riola. They're going to be tight. This is a home game. Everyone in their family is going to see this game where Colorado is just going to go in there. It's just kind of like a game on the schedule. We already beat these guys last year. All right, we have a Big 12 still to play. We really want this game, but we get to go on the road, and 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 not a lot of people are picking us. We're the dead underdog in this game. People are mocking us for the defense against North Dakota State when really you can fix it. You got 11 days. Colorado has 11 days, and man, like the second half, Colorado's defense got right. So it's kind of like, I don't know if in my mind, the game really changed in my mind tonight, watching the Buffaloes, like my pick. Um, gosh, I'm going to see Nebraska UTEP. It's going to be important for the offense to look all right against UTEP. I will say that um, it's not an easy game to pick. I think Nebraska can either blow the doors off Colorado or Colorado wins close. Those are the two kind of games that I see. Um, But tonight, again, you saw the brilliance of Shador, of Travis Hunter. And I'm going to look back and maybe Pat Shermer probably called a pretty decent game tonight too.